got this automotive um, dryer and sight glass all in one. I think it's called a receiver dryer. So uh, it's very light. We'll cut that open and see what's going on. I, I expect it's got a dip tube in there similar to a receiver. And we shall see. Right, got that apart. It's quite a strong spring pressure on this. Um, gives it a bit of tension. That's the dip tube. It's got a little ridge in it there. That the uh, spring works against. And then that end is, looks like it's got some glue. Oh, missed that. It's got some glue or something on there. And that was glued into that hole there, and that's your um, inlet. That one there's the outlet. You can see through the outlet, that's uh, right the way through to the uh, side bars. Aluminium dip tube. Uh, hollow steel shell, so sort of rubber gasket, which I think was on the bottom, and that's it. The dryer, which is uh, tiny, really. It's not a great deal. And I see that is uh, that's what the spring is pushing against. Sure, where that gasket Oh, I see. That gasket was on the bottom, sealing the edge of that to the edge of this. And the liquid has then got to go through these holes here, through the, the beads or whatever there is, out the bottom here, and then up the centre into that tube. I was stuck on it, it's got a, a lip on that tube, but that's all you've got is a, like a little felt pad and um, it's full of beads. There's not an awful lot of beads in there. Probably not a lot much more dry capacity than what that one's got really. When you look at the size of the shell, you'd expect there to be something like that in there, but I guess that's where they get the um, receiver part, where you've got that much volume for it to fill up. 